everybody welcome back to my channel it's me zoe make sure you like comment subscribe as well as sign up for fetch with my link and code down below so you can both earn um points and free gift cards for bath and butter some other places so yeah today i have actually a requested video somebody requested this i don't know like two weeks ago maybe um this is a fragrances to wear for spring so these are my top 10 fragrance picks along with three kind of runner-ups that are just they're more like all year kind of scents, but they could be used for spring as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Also, I want to say I'm feeling like very vintage with this makeup look. I actually like it. Okay, so the first one we're going to go with is this one. This is Afternoon Sunshine. Sorry if the lighting's really bright. Um, This was a, uh, a test store exclusive release, I believe like 2020 it went to the outlets um 2020 2021 and then 2021 summer i believe or the, i think this came out for a summer annual sale um but with clear lids instead of the like frosted lids anyways the notes are golden peaches honey crisp apple and white woods so yeah also don't mind this i got makeup on it i had to wash it off with water anyways yeah i love this scent you guys can't tell but i'm currently right here this is in my project used it up and I'm absolutely adoring this scent and even though I'm gonna use it up and probably won't be able to find it like ever again I do just I love it enough and I don't feel like I have to keep it but I love it a lot so yeah I'm using this one right now and it smells so good it is a nice clean fresh fruity slightly woodsy it's like an upscale clean kind of scent with a hint of that juicy peach but not like a candy peach more like a fresh peach and none of the cat pee peach because I can get the cat like litter box kind of smell from peach as well. But this one's really nice and the woodsiness really tones it down. And it's not like a super woodsy woodsiness. It's more like a soft woodsy smell. So I really do love that one. Okay. Another one that I'm literally almost done with. As you can see, like, yeah, I have like one use left in there. Um, the notes are sugared red berries, blushing, freesia, and rose meringue. This is gingham love. Now I'm currently, again, using this up in my product use it up. And I, like the name suggests, I absolutely love this scent. It's just so nice. And I actually have a full collection. I have it in the mist, the body cream, and the body scrub. It's not on the body wash, but I just don't like the body washes. Um, anyways, this one is just so nice. It's like a fresh floral. It's not a heavy rose at all. There's definitely this soft fluffy rose but it's not gourmand and there's like a soft kind of citrusy floral scent as well i swear i always have like fuzzies on my face that make my face so itchy anyways yeah absolutely loving <laughs> gingham love and the freesia just really brings it in and ties it all together with the berries so i really do that one okay here's one i haven't used a lot but i spent a long time hunting this down this is a beautiful day fine fragrance mist um, notes of sun-kissed apple, sparkling cassis, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. So I had first found this in the, I believe in the shower gel on like the olden days, um, like in 2020. They had these um, in the shower gel and the lotion, I believe, on the $5 tables. They don't really do the $5 tables anymore, which I'm thankful because they're more $3 or $2 tables or some years not. But anyways, the $5 tables, I picked it up. And I just was smelling it and I fell in love with the scent. So I decided to get the lotion as well. And I could never find the mist, even though the mist was an online exclusive. At that time, I don't think I'd ever made any online Beth Myers orders. So I just wasn't going to do that. But I eventually did get this, I think, maybe last summer SAS. It might have been the summer before. It was either summer 2022 or summer 2021 in a um, online order for... Sass, I did actually pick it up. I think it was 21 online. So yeah, I did finally pick this up. And it's just such a nice scent. It just smells so nice. You get the florals and the apple, making a fresh, breezy, airy, florally apple. Fresh, just sophisticated kind of florally apple scent. It's just kind of hard to describe because there's lots of um, notes in here, but you can definitely get the daisies. It's kind of like denim and daisies with some apple-y, um, fresh, breezy notes. I really like that a lot. Okay, next is one that a lot of people have been raving about for Valentine's Day, but I do think this is actually a more spring appropriate fragrance. And this is Whipped Rose Latte or the newer version of Whipped Rose Vanilla. So this one came out in 2021 and this one came out 2022 around um, Christmas time. 
So the notes are the same for both of them. They're crushed rose petals, cocoa flower, and whipped foam. So I've used this one more currently. As you can see, I have a little dent going right there. I use it in a few combinations. Ooh, where's the mist? Okay. It just smells so good. It's just a soft, creamy rose. Definitely that whipped cream. Like, it's very creamy. Not like tonic, per se, but creamy and fluffy. And the cocoa flower, it's more like floral cocoa. Not like a chocolate, like cocoa powder kind of floral. And it's really nice. So, yeah, I do um, love this scent. And it's just perfect for spring. Well, typically, since spring around here means it's either muddy or it's snowing again. It's currently, we're supposed to get, like, a snowstorm <laughs> where I live um, in the next few days. Anyways, it's just, like, you know, spring's a little weird around here. So, that is definitely appropriate. Another scent from that same collection. This is Pink Lily and Bamboo. This, this packaging previously came out in... I think at the outlets, summer at summer sass of like 2020, when I was just getting in kind of to um, some annual sales, and this was pink lily and raspberry, but this changed to pink lily and bamboo, even though the packaging is like exactly the same. Um, the notes are wild lily petals, bamboo leaf, pink ginger, fresh fig, and thawed wood. I am not a fan of son or sorry fig, but um, I do like this scent a lot. In fact, I have a backup of it. It's just a nice fresh scent. You definitely get like that fresh fig a little bit, but you definitely get the the pink lily and like the bamboo spa-like scent with the soft florals. And you get a hint of like a pink ginger. ginger. It's not like a spicy ginger. It's more like an herbaceous ginger. It is really nice. It's very fresh, very floral, but in a really nice, soft, feminine, pretty way. So I do like that for the scent for this. Okay, next one is very contrary with the name. This is Fall in Bloom. Obviously, you wouldn't think spring when you hear this name, but it is a very springy scent in my opinion. The notes are Juicy Plum, Wild Blooms, and Velvet Moss. Personally, I'm more of a gourmand fall type of scent lover, so for me, this is more of a spring um, kind of scent. And then, yeah, it's perfect because it's probably still a little cold outside or colder than summer um, where people live for spring, so it's just really nice. You get the pear, not the pear, the plum. I think it's plum, right? Yeah. And you get the the soft florals and not like a mossy scent per se but like a woodsy outdoors kind of scent in like the best floral soft way possible it's just really hard to explain and this is supposed to be a um dupe for burberry here which i have never smelled so i'm not sure about that one but you yeah. know that's what people say next is a favorite of mine this is cloud nine now i did fully go through a bottle of this in the older packaging um last month January. So yeah, the notes in this are lavender breeze, morning dewdrops, and cozy amber. And it's just so nice. You get the soft lavender. It's not like a super herbaceous lavender. <laughs> that was weird. Not a super herbaceous lavender. And you get the amber, just a cozy kind of amber. But you also get um, the dew. And the dew is weird because it is like a hint of freshness. But you also, when I wore this, I really got a lot of berry smell on the undertone too. I definitely smelled a lot of sweet, nice berries with that lavender, amber, and a hint of the freshness. So it's a really nice scent and I do um, recommend it. This is currently available in this packaging. Oh, and I believe this is currently available online as well. Okay, next is a favorite of mine. This is Pastel Skies. The notes in this one are soft cloud berries, pink spun sugar, and coconut musk. You can currently pick this up in the Fast Collection. Although the Fast Collection mists are 17 no, they're $18.95, so it's a ridiculous amount, but I do really like the scent. And I'm not completely 100% sure if it's the same formulation as it was from this one, so I can't really tell you that because I haven't been able to smell it yet because it's been sold out when I tried to do that. But yeah, just a nice scent. It's like, it's creamy coconut, soft berries, but like a musky softness. Not like a musky BO kind of smell, but like... Just a soft, like, calming kind of scent, I guess. It's really nice. And it is kind of like if you took, like, um, the pure coconut scent from Math Butters and mixed it with a nice berry and a hint of musk. It's just really nice. I do like it a lot. Okay. Um, number nine, we have Peach Prosecco Macaron. This is Peach Prosecco Vanilla Cream Macaron Cookie. This is just a nice fruity fragrance. Now, this really does smell like peach rings. It really does. And 
Honestly, this could be more of a <laughs> summer scent, but this did come out spring of 2022, and I do think it is appropriate for transitioning spring to summer, but you could wear it in spring as well, especially if your spring is hotter than mine is, because spring around here, like, it snowed. It snowed, like, three feet. I know, ridiculous. But it did snow, a th a three like, three feet of snow two years ago, around my birthday. Anyways, it was crazy, and that doesn't happen all the time, but it does keep pretty snowy sometimes up until March, end of March, so yeah. Anyways, I do love this one. It's very fruity, very peachy, and it's a perfect scent if you're more into fruity scents, but you don't want something super tropical. Yeah, because it's not summer. Okay, and the last one I had to show you that's not a runner-up, this is Pink Suede. Notes of blush berries, velvet peonies, and soft cotton. I think this is just the perfect soft scent. You get the berries, you get the suede like, not leathery, but more like warm, ambery kind of leathery scent, I guess. And you get a hint of the cotton, very slight. It's more on a fluffiness that you get. It's just, it's just a, such a nice scent. And I feel like a lot of people actually got this, but don't talk about that much. So here I can tell you about it. It's really good, highly recommend. Okay, now I thought I had three runner-ups and I do. So the first one is Pearberry. I forgot to get that out. You guys all know about pear berry. It's just a berry pear. It's berries and fresh sweet pear and a hint of like airiness. So anyways, the other two I have to talk about are some blooms and suede notes of white raspberry, pink petals, and vanilla cream. Recently found out that white raspberry is the thing. It's not just raspberry that's like right, not ripe. I guess it is an actual thing called white raspberry. And this is a very soft, floral, clean kind of scent. Yeah, you don't get much raspberry. It's just mostly soft soft clean florals with a hint of like a softness and it's really not strong at all <laughs> it's super light but it is nice if you want a lighter version of something kind of spring and last but certainly not least for the runners up this is cactus blossom the notes in here are cactus flower petals sunkissed coconut vanilla and fresh sparkling lemon so this one is a really nice spring scent but i put this in the runner up because i think this is kind of an all-year-round scent in my opinion because it has the sweet coconut, which is good for like um, spring, summer, and fall. The lemon, lemon, citrus scents are actually nice in winter because it's like really refreshing and uplifting. But it's just a creaminess. It's so good. And the cactus petals gives a hint of floral. It's a really nice scent and I do 100% recommend it. So that was probably the longest I've like actually organically talked about fragrances. Because sometimes I just rush through them and I tried not to do that today. Um, and really give my thoughts on it. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this. Also stay tuned. Soon I have a few perfume hauls or maybe one big one coming soon. And then after that probably some reviews as I review those perfumes. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Go check out my Kaoli um, perfume line review because that one is not doing as well as I thought it would. But um, a lot of people already heard a lot of people's opinions on those. But if you want to see my opinions and some of them are pretty harsh because I didn't like I didn't like a few of them and a few of them I really loved. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you there. Bye!